Hello and welcome to another episode of Surf Fisher Lot. Thanks for tuning in. In this episode, I'm going to be going through how uh, I'm going to repair a ice fishing rod tip that broke. Uh, this is not a do-it-yourself styled. If you want to follow along, go ahead. If you see something I did wrong, comment. If you want to know more, uh, comment and I'll try and help you out. So thanks for watching. Hope you like and please subscribe. Before I start tying, I'm actually going to try and sand off some of this epoxy here and straighten off the edge here of the blank. to the broad itself. Okay, that's pretty well prepared. Test the diameter here. The thread that I'm using is just a polyester. Okay, it's still fairly loose, so I'm going to do another wrap. Still pretty loose, so I'm just going to keep on wrapping until it's fairly snug. Okay, that should work. this off. I'm just going to loosen it up and move it towards the back because I'm going to wrap a bit more once I get the tip top on. So now I'm just going to use some epoxy and some acrylic paint. I'm going to try and match up the color of the orange that's already there for the tip end. I'm going to mix the paint color into the epoxy and then I'm going to paint it on and then I'm going to wrap the uh, tip top and paint it some more with epoxy. So I'm going to do is cut the thread. I'm 
not going to do a knot, but I'm just going to try and tuck it under my last loop. Okay, so the next step. What I'm going to do is I have a rotisserie motor for my barbecue here. I just put a little hunk of wood inside of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape the... Uh, oh, you guys can't see that, can you, on the camera? I'm in a little too tight, maybe. So this will rotate slowly. So I'm going to attach the end of the rod to this so that I can paint epoxy on to the... Uh, tip top of the threading that I have here and that should keep everything in place I hope and then I'll leave this to run so that when the epoxy is spinning around and around and around there won't be a glob of epoxy at the bottom because of gravity pulling it down might not be the most ideal thing but be okay from what I need it to do. See if it'll work with this.
All right, so just a quick little recap of everything that I did. Uh, I assessed the damage, decided that I couldn't reuse the uh, existing tip top. So I just uh, put a new tip top on there completely. Um, uh, first thing I did was I cleaned the broad blank and then I put a thread on just to cinch up the new tip top to the rod blank uh, just because the diameter of the sleeve, the metal sleeve on the tip top was a bit bigger than the rod blank. Then I epoxied it, then I put the uh, tip top on, I aligned it with other, the other eyelets on the rod blank and then I threaded more just to uh, marry the uh, tip top to the rod blank a little bit better and re it. And then all I did was uh, hooked it up to a device that rotates just in order to make sure that the uh, epoxy stays fairly even as it uh, does its curing process. So if you liked what you've seen, please subscribe.